welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. We're here today at the Animal Booth 2014 Mr. Olympia with Frank McGrath. Rap. What's up, guys? <laughs> now, one thing you guys don't know is Frank's got a lot of the same shirts that I do. Every time I see him, he's wearing like the same shirt. But we want to talk to Frank again in true Bio Street fashion, not about how to get huge, because he talks about his training, and there's tons of videos out there, but some of you may or may not know that he was in a very, very bad car accident before. And uh, myself, I was in the hospital with pneumonia and almost died, and I remember trying to get out of the hospital and you felt awful and you tried to come back from near death. And I just want to have him talk a little bit about that. Was there any point at that, after the accident, where you thought, I may not make it back to even getting to the gym at all? Oh, well, especially um, when the doctors tell me that I'm probably never going to work out again. I'll never be able to work out at the same level again. Not just be a body, but like never work out. Well, they say, you know, you may, you'll probably be able to work out, but not at that same level. And, you know, I was devastating. Like, I'm not going to lie, I, I was in tears. because like, It's been my life for 20 years. You know, so what, what do I do if I don't work out? Right. Um, even though it's, again, it's my life, too. Right. My job, everything, too. So, um, I remember when they... I was going in for surgery and they're strapping me down and I know they're gonna cut me open and you know, take take straight out of me and stuff. I was like I, I was in tears and I was like it's over. Like, you know, and, like, I had nobody there at the same time too, so it was even, even worse. Um, but yeah, I remember I went from two seventy down to one eighty in a month. Like a hundred pounds? Pretty much, yeah. And you know, I just you know, I thought to myself it's over, you know what I mean? And uh, even when I was I, I woke up and stuff, it was it was uh, the doctor told me not to do anything for nine months. And I remember, I think it was 10 weeks, I was back, I went back to the gym, 20 pound dumbbell curls, yeah. you know, struggling. Must be a mind fuck going back like that. Now, was there any point where you were like, okay, now what do I do? Did you already start playing in your head like, I can't no, train, no, I can't I just do that, it was, one day I'm at time. no matter what, I'm gonna I did one day at a time. The first thing I did was even just try to go for a walk. That was the main was exercise, right? Because I had a clamp song and all that stuff, but I couldn't breathe right. And just laying on my laying down for so long, because I pretty much yeah, laid on my back for, for ten weeks and didn't move at all. Just to get up and walk to the fridge was like it's tough. Yeah. Um, so like I didn't really think about first I didn't think about competing. I was just like I want to get back to the gym. And I want to just get back to being like first a normal person, right. not even just say I'm a bodybuilder. You know, first I you know, like, be a normal walk around. So that was the, the first thing for me. I just did day one at a time. You know what I mean? And then I got to a point. I said, you know what? I'm just gonna try. I just want to see what I can do. That was my thing. I, I, I didn't know if I was going to make it or not. I didn't know. I just, I just want to know. If I can't do it, yeah, there's my right. answer. If I can't... Then... But what did it feel like after all that? I think it was the last year the year before. You came in, started working with Connie, right? Uh, yeah. I was you stepped like, on stage, like, heel, big, full, hard. What was like, after you looked at the pictures of yourself? No one like, knew where it was. When I was first to step on stage, I didn't think... You didn't I know didn't it. It's like, in my own head, I didn't know. Like, you feel down, and you think everybody else around you looks... Ten million times better than yeah, you. It's, yeah, you know, like the average right? guy at the gym, you're like, oh, he looks better than me. Yeah, but then uh, when I, I walked in on stage, yeah, everybody started going crazy. That's something I think. I my chunks so, full off. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> I just felt great. You know, so, wow. You know, you know everybody, the great feedback I got and stuff, and uh, I walked on Olympia from the two shows I did after. It was only um, fourteen months or something like that after my accident, and I qualified for Olympia, and the same year I did Olympia, so I was like. Right. You know, I, when I remember I, when I qualified, I mean, like I was on stage in tears because I just right. I, I think about everything that happened right. and stuff. You know what I mean? So it's, it's kind of overwhelming and stuff. So I mean, there's a lot of bodybuilders out there, and they all have their own story. But when I saw, you know, all the stuff that you go, you talked about it on one of the animal videos, yeah. black and white, and all their black and white. Yeah. I remember watching it go, and I sent you like an email. I was like, bro, I was in the hospital. I got up, like I couldn't stand up. I couldn't go to the bathroom. I had a walker to try to get to the bathroom. They're like, I made it to the doctors. So, like, you may or may not be able to do this again. So I, I got the feeling, but I was like, of course, you know, you went on to the Olympia, which is like, that's the elite of the elite. Anybody ever wants to step on stage, that's where you want to get to. Well, I got to myself to the river, and I, you know, I, I'm not saying I didn't do that well, but I got, I got like 16th or something Olympia that year. But you get the jumpsuit. When you yeah, get on that's, the stage, oh, that's, like, that's the most exciting thing. <laughs> like, I still wear it. I was like, I don't wait to get it on. But I had like, my middle up, and I was, when I was home, I was like, you know, I thought to myself, how many people on the planet even have this? You know I mean? How many people? Say this weekend, want to be on this Olympic stage? Everybody does, right. and you know, not that many people. One like percent people, like less than one percent people, right. will ever make it there. Or I don't know how much percentage it would be, but it's very low. And they think that I actually made it through all that stuff. And, I was and like, there was actually a qualification process when you went. It wasn't like everybody who decides to go and gets to go to the Olympia. You top, had to win or win the point system. So. Yeah. Uh, well, it, when I did it was a uh, top three, top three, and then it just changed to the point system. The point system. Yeah. Cool. Wrap your inspiration. Thank you for your time. Buy us at trainingatgmail.com and work.